It's Ben here, and here in this short Final Cut Pro tutorial, we're going to have a look at how we lengthen or shorten these four layered clips on our timeline all in one go. So let's dive right in. Now, if we're shortening clips, we can come to a point in the timeline and use option and the right square bracket, and that will allow us to shorten all those clips with kind of four clicks. But if we actually want to extend clips, then we need to get a little bit more creative with it. So basically, I want to extend all these to 10 seconds, and in fact, we'll go to exactly 10 seconds. I'm going to click on my time code here and type in 10 period. It's going to take me 10 seconds. And then basically what I want to do is extend all of these first. So I'm going to select all these clips and the end of this is around, this shortest one is around seven seconds. So I'm going to add five seconds to all of these. So to do that, I'm going to do control and D and then I'm going to hold down shift and tap the equal sign, which is going to give me plus. And now it's going to allow me to add a certain number of seconds onto my clip. So I can type in five period, hit enter. And now all those clips are still selected. So I can use option and the right square bracket and it will trim them all down. So that's how we extend multiple clips to a certain point in the timeline. So just to rerun through that. So basically we've got all these clips, they're different lengths. We want to extend them to 10 seconds. We could select a different point in the timeline if we want to. But we'll go for 10 seconds here and we'll highlight all of these. We're going to do control and D plus five period. So shift and the equal sign to get plus, hit enter, and then option and the right square bracket. And because they're all selected, they will trim down at the same time. Super useful tip, something I use quite often to kind of get things the length I want to, extending them beyond the playhead and then trimming them down. If you have any questions about this technique or other techniques in Final Cut Pro 10, then do leave a comment below and I look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial.